Going to be getting some assistance tonight from uh, Todd. Who? You. Oh, okay. You're Todd. Um, as far as you know, I am. So, yes. Yeah. Are you ready for all manner of, of nonsense? I'm always ready for this. All right. Did you know I actually can't I actually have a version of the intro that does not have Tara's name on it just for such an occasion? <laughs> does it have my name on it? No. Does not have your name on it. Mm -hmm. I guess I don't deserve Let me get a marker, I'll draw on the screen. <laughs> It'll be on there then. <laughs> I'm a happy hippo. Each week, Catherine goes out on the worldwide interwebs, finds all sorts of horrible stuff, brings it back here, a segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong With You, and <sighs> this is this is honestly a case of dat face. Where are you? I'm here. You're like leaning over and shit. There you are. I'm trying to read the chat room through my horrible mask. <laughs> this, I have to get right up close to the screen. Th this is a case of dat face. And yeah, it's let me send you the it's uh from Panita, so it's Florida. So you know it's good. I do. Um Joseph Panita, alleged fake cock, a key uh, cock. Well yeah. <laughs> he is no no no, he's a fake cop, he's a real cock. So um okay. he's accused of demanding food from McDonald's, St. Petersburg. Authorities in Florida say the man flashed a fake gun and badge and demanded free fast food at a McDonald's drive through Pinellas County Sheriff Deputy say Joseph Pineda told employees Friday that he deserved free food, had just come from a sting, didn't have his wallet. Workers called the police. Pineda initially ignored commands to show his hands, but eventually surrendered at gunpoint. Authorities said they found two fake police badges and a handgun in the center console of his car. The base premise here. It's one of those things that two minutes on nine with 911 and you're busted, you know? Yeah. It's not like, a, huh? I have a question. Yeah. Do policemen get free food? I didn't realize that. I don't know. This, Is that a thing? I don't know. I've, I've done so. I, when I was a reporter, I did some ride alongs with police and they would go, you know, on, on the duty, they'd go get food and they definitely paid for it. So I think there was a major flaw in his plan right from the very beginning. Well, let's see any law enforcement entities who are officially or unofficially viewing this program. Do you get free food? I don't, I don't know how that um, works. Secondly, I have to, I have to ask why the gun? <laughs> I know you have the badge. Were you planning on showing your gun as proof that you were a cop? Normally when or... a cop comes up to you, they show you the badge. They don't show you the badge and go, and I've got a nice Glock too. Thirdly, if he had the badge, why were we supposed to believe he lost his wallet? Where do you keep your badge? I it's not your wallet. Is, 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 do you keep your badge on your key ring? Because then I guess, I guess it wouldn't be plausible that you let it be your wallet but still have your badge. Do they make those little key ring holders for, you know, for the cop yeah. on the go? <laughs> yeah. I, I don't feel like this was a very good plan. I you don't many... say. <laughs> now, let me tell you this. A press pass, which you can fake very easily, will get you tons of free food. Just not a McDonald's. No, not McDonald's, but... McDonald's don't give a shit. No. They've got a but... dollar menu, for Christ's <laughs> sake! The guy could have gone home, checked his couch, probably come up with a dollar and some change, and gone back, and hey, guess what? Not gotten arrested. I hope they make a movie about this man. <laughs> be like, be like staying or Ocean's Eleven, except he uh, fails immediately. Yeah. And the, and the movie ends. Yeah. <laughs> well, speaking of more hijinks and capers, um, teachers have a rough time of it. 
Oh, yes, they do. Yes, they do. Because if you're not getting it from the, the parents, you're getting it from the kids. No, you're always getting it from the kids and often from the parents, but mostly from the kids. Students suck. They should be set on fire and then you can teach them. <laughs> I just I, I think this is a new. I'm I don't think this has ever been done before, so I've got to give them originality. Um, this is from Charlotte, North Carolina. Teacher says students spiked her coffee with butt enhancing pills. I, I I'm I'm behind a mask, so you can't see my blankness and blinking. But that's uh, yeah. Go on. Charlotte schools teacher uh, told police that a student put something in her coffee during class, which police say turned out to be a butt enhancing drug. Um, the incident reported Monday by 61 year old Ellen Vick. Oh, God. <laughs> She's listening to the school's website as a technical education teacher. Um, according to the report, investigators looked into the case, found a container of glute boost which had one full capsule and three empty capsules. She believes the substance was put into her coffee on Friday morning around 10 a.m. by someone who was in her classroom. A web search of glute boost brings up the website where it's sold. The pills are billed as a, quote, all-natural buttocks enhancement supplement. Where do we start here? Well, I'm, I'm sure I can't read the chat room, but I'm sure I'm, I want to start with the same question everyone else is thinking. There are butt enhancement pills? Actually, I was thinking, oh my God. Becky. Becky look at her butt. I just, I, I, I need to know. There are butt enhancement pills? There are butt enhancement pills. Because I, mean, I, I, I guess I, I didn't ever know about them because my butt's still pretty, pretty damn good. I mean, I see. Um, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. But, so I, I was not aware that these things exist. How do they work? I feel like if there were butt enhancement pills, I would have known about it. Well, we already had stories twice now of, of women who have injected uh, fix a flat into their asses in an attempt to make their butts b bigger. Oh, but there's a link to it. Gluteboost.com. So, okay, I've got to see this. Let's have a look at gluteboost.com, the website. Uh, Let's have a look here. Okay. Get a bigger butt naturally and safe. Because who wouldn't trust this website with thongs and bras? And oh, there's a woman dressed up like a doctor. She So it must be safe. Does she have a nice butt? Can't tell. Got Can't. the yeah, got the coat on. Uh oh, she does have a stethoscope though, so she knows. She knows what she's doing. <laughs> she has a degree in butt science. Okay, so what happened was her students actually went online, purchased the glute boost. God knows whose credit card they used for this, and decided the best use of it was attempting to pump the rump of their 61-year-old technical education teacher. What do they think was going to happen? Like, Charlie with Charlie and the Chocolate Factory only with an ass, you know? They thought it would uh, fuck with their teacher because <laughs> students are awful and need to be set on fire. But, they yeah. need to be shot repeatedly. They need to be hurt. I bet you know. I bet they were sitting there surprised. Man, her butt didn't grow at all. I need my money back. I got gypped. It's like those X-ray glasses all over again. <laughs> oh, we're what? back. Oh, go ahead. What? X-ray glasses. You don't remember those? I actually they had a couple of, couple of those that didn't do shit. No, they don't. Okay, we we're, we're, we're back to Florida. Oh, good. And speaking of students, since they, they seem to piss you off, so um, 
I, I got no seg for this one. Um, two school girls arrested after sleepover at elementary school. Charlotte County Sheriff's Office uh, received missing juvenile report about two Port Charlotte Middle School girls age 11 and 13 uh, who never came home after school September 17th. According to a press release from the Sheriff's Office, uh, authorities began a big search for the missing girls, but then learned that the 13 year old had been communicating via computer with friends on Facebook, giving them false information where they could be found. (laughs) Turns out they were having a sleepover in the school. Uh, snacked on food they found there, made prank calls to six teachers from the school phone, and used the school computers to access numerous websites on the internet. So, these two girls broke into the elementary school, or waited in the elementary school till it was closed. Then they slept over the night and just started being dickbags to everyone. Is that the right term for girls, dickbag? Is there another term that we can... Well... But we don't want to, you know, involve gendered insults. So let's let, let's leave it a dick bag. Asshole? They're being assholes. They're being little assholes. I've always wondered, you know, if you can call a girl an asshole. Usually it's a bitch. But like for no. for children, it's children. It's usually shits. Twat They're waffle. Little, Thank you. Twat waffle. Right. Um. Although I, I do need to say this, I I kind of think that's kind of awesome. <laughs> what? Just fucking with everybody like that? Yes. If if I if like students are awful, and when I was a student, I would have totally done that. <laughs> so I, actually, no, I wouldn't because I was not that cool. But so sending the cops going every which way but loose, looking for okay, your not ass. That. They that's not cool. They um they need to uh, basically. I remember this same thing from an episode of Pete and Pete, and you have to set up a proper alibi first. But once you've done that. The night is yours. You got a point. Man, it's got yeah. a point. Pete and Pete taught us so much. Yes. And, and. and see, go ahead. No, you know, school is awful for everybody. And uh, it's awful for the teachers and it's awful for the students. It's a terrible institution and we should just give up on the whole idea of education. We should all live in huts. But what, just chain the kids to a tree during the day? Yes. Yes. Slop them when you get back home. Yeah. Change their Literacy hay. Is, Literacy is overrated. The whole idea has been a failure. Let's just admit it. We tried it. It didn't work. It's time to move on. Okay, we've got another one. And this is from Michigan. And file this under the why does this keep happening category. So, um, Batman. How much money does Batman have, do you think? He's up there. Maybe not Bill Gates, but he's got a lot. Like he's in the he's in the, the Fortune 500, I'm sure. He's on their fictional 15. Anyway. <laughs> nice. Um, well, according to uh, police in Michigan, Batman charged with obstructing uh, the search for a driver who fled an accident scene in northern Michigan over the weekend was apparently a job not for a do- was apparently for a job, not a bat. State troopers arrested 33 year old Mark Wayne Williams. Ah, he's got Wayne in there. So he's legit. Uh, oh, Bruce Be- Wayne Williams. Yeah, because they say he refused to leave them alone after he showed up Saturday night wearing a Batman outfit. He wouldn't clear the scene, and we had a canine out there, and he kept screwing up the scent. He said he wanted to help us look for the driver. Wait, what, what was the crime they were investigating? The driver got out of his car, he fled the scene of an accident. Okay. So they were sending... On, on foot. Yeah, he's like... Yeah. And everyone's making the, 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 the... You know, what's the difference between this guy and back, right? Batman? At least I'm, I'm not wearing hockey pants. <laughs> <laughs> Although, really, I, I that's that's not the that's not the picture. I think is that the picture of him? Yeah, that's his picture. He doesn't even have the hockey pads. Everyone can see there at home. He just has the leotard. And also, oh, honey, no, he's got the long hair spilling out from the back of the cowl. Okay, and. 
what moron goes around looking like Batman? Who would want to be seen looking like Batman? That's lame. That is nature's but, way of saying, never fuck me. I, he's this guy goes around wearing a goddamn Batman mask and thinks he's cool. What a jerk. Anyway, I, I, um, you know, we, we, we all, no, we all kind of fantasize about being Batman. And, you know, we cosplay, we go to conventions and shit. I, I don't, but people do and that's fine. But like, when you're actually like interfering with like an actual goddamn police investigation, seriously, I just want to kick you in the nuts. Yeah. Screw you. I don't, I don't want to tell you how to do that better. Just. <laughs> yeah. Time and place. If you're a dragon con, uh, dress up like Batman. If you're in the middle of a, of a homicide investigation, not a real good time to dress up as Batman. Just saying. Uh, like, seriously, this guy could have, you know, some guy could have escaped because this moron in a goddamn Batman costume, like, hey, I'm helping, I'm helping. Okay, my geek brain just kicked in and said something stupid that I've, I've got to say out loud. Um... How could he have helped them? He's not wearing a utility belt. Batman doesn't even really work with the police. He'll talk to Commissioner Gordon sometimes, but he doesn't really coordinate with the cops. No. Which makes it a very bad Batman impression on top of everything. I'm sad that came out of my skull, though. <laughs> Let's critique his Batman impression. How are you going to help? You don't even have a batarang. <laughs> Do you have any bat shark repellent? No, get the fuck out of here. He is clearly based on the Adam West Batman. He is. Well, no, he doesn't have the yellow. Oh, God. Make me stop. I'm going to critique the costume because I know the era. I've got to get away from this. I've got to stop. <laughs> okay, well. um, We got a lot of Florida this week. Holy shit. Uh, are you familiar with the graceful manatee? Yes. No. What? The, the like the actual manatee? Yes. Okay. I I thought that was like the name of a band or something. No. No. Sea cows. The yes. Large, squishy mammals that are endangered yes. because in Florida they ride those propeller boats around and kept killing them because they weren't taking care of them. So they're in manatees are dangerous, horrible, man-eating animals, and they're secretly vampires and they fly. That would have made this story much cooler, actually. <laughs> um, woman rides manatee. Deputy searching for a woman who went for a joyride in Fort DeSoto. Authorities are searching for a woman who was riding on the back of a manatee over the weekend. Uh, Pinellas County Sheriff's Office has released a photo of the unknown woman. Once she's captured, she would face charges for violating the Florida Manatee Sanctuary Act. Witnesses were able to give a description, photos of the suspect in the place she was last seen. The law states it is unlawful for any person at any time, by any means, or in any manner, intentionally or neglect ne neglectfully. <laughs> That's not a word. Neglectfully? To, no, the neglectly. Ne negligently. Okay, there it is. I can't read. Negligently. Okay. I'm smart! Um, to annoy molest, harass, or disturb, or attempt to molest, harass, or disturb any manatee. I would think this would constitute harassing. Okay. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. It's illegal to annoy a manatee. It is. But it's not illegal to annoy me? Why the hell not? It's illegal to annoy a manatee, but it's not illegal to have sex with an animal. In Florida. That's true. Well, I guess having sex with it isn't really annoying it if you're doing it right. <laughs> I would I would call all right, all right I'm going to make the photo bigger. Um yeah. this woman is not a small woman. I would uh, would would consider this harassment because if I was just hanging out and a large woman came up and jumped on my back and try to make me run around, I would consider that harassment. 
no, no offense. It's just, you know, I, I feel like the manatee has more rights than I do. <laughs> you want you want a law covering you specifically. You want to be free for, for, from being annoyed, molested, harassed, or disturbed, or even attempted uh, to. Yeah. Like you, do you see the comments we get sometimes? The manatee gets treated better than I do. You, you want it to be illegal to even think about annoying you. Yes. Oh. And like the manatee's okay. Actually, he kind of looks yeah, like... Yeah, but a, I'm going to be in a bad mood for a week because of these comments I get sometimes. Manatee kind of looks like a seal that got left out in the sun too long. <laughs> Oh, I'm surprised we have haven't like extincted the manatee already. Well, it's she's just... trying. <laughs> Get your ass off the damn fucking manatee! Leave it alone, woman. How did, like is the preserve like this like fenced off area or? Um, well, it's yeah, I, I believe I don't know if it's fenced off, but it's the manatee sanctuary, I guess. Well, actually, no, manatees well, like... they, they run around free. It's just mm-hmm. if you see one. You leave it the fuck alone. That's that's mm-hmm. how it works. Now a dolphin, on the other hand, we've got plenty of them, so feel free to harass and molest them all you want. And they're delicious. <laughs> and you know what? Speaking of animals that you shouldn't eat, I'm amazed this one did not come from Kentucky. Uh you like Chinese food? I do. I do too. And I've actually had Chinese food in Kentucky, which makes this story all the more troublesome. From Whitley County, a restaurant shut down after roadkill found in kitchen. Chinese restaurant forced to shut its doors after getting caught with a dead deer in the kitchen. Happened Thursday afternoon. Um, at the Red Flower Chinese Restaurant in Williamsburg. So if you have eaten at the Red Flower Chinese Restaurant in Williamsburg, ha <laughs> um, Hopkins and her friend never imagined what would happen next after finishing a buffet lunch. Two of the workers came in wheeling a garbage can. They had a box sitting on top of it and hanging out of the garbage can. <laughs> they were trying to be real quick with it so that nobody could see. But there was like a tail and a foot and a leg sticking out of the garbage can. They wheeled it straight back into the kitchen. The health department arrived and immediately shut down the business. Wow. Okay. The restaurant owner tells the health department he wasn't going to serve the roadkill to customers, but instead to his family. And this is the one that blows my mind. The Red Flower Chinese Restaurant won't face any charges any fines no yeah any fines for it i think this was like a deleted scene from dumb and dumber just it's it literally seems like it couldn't possibly have happened like that (laughs) it does it seems like a comedy you know two guys come in wheeling the dead deer nothing to see here no it's alive look it's moving I don't know. It just uh, leave the damn things. Why would you? As if you are not. uh, Do you really have to live up to the stereotype? Come on, guys. Really? Hey, venison is delicious for the record. Venison is delicious, but not, you know, with, you know, a side of larva. (laughs) <laughs> with a hint of asphalt not that tasty <laughs> no I, I just like imagining like the three stooges just pulling this dead animal that they are improperly hiding in like plain view of everybody like and they you, they have just like n- they don't give a fuck at that point <laughs> And they are such bad liars. They claim they've never done this before and that he's only going to serve it to his family. Bullshit. I'm sorry. They were wheeling it through the front door like it was not a thing. Like, I can just imagine, like, these workers, like, 
making minimum wage. They treated like crap. It's like, and now we got to hide the, you know, the deer, you know, whatever. It just <laughs> nothing to see here, folks. Whatever. Yeah, no shit. Just, just if I order chicken, I want chicken. Or cow, I want cow. Shrimp, shrimp, pork, pork. You see how this works? I don't like guessing what animal and the circumstances behind that animal that it came out of. Yeah. Although, to be fair, don't kid yourself and think that if you order from Arby's, you're getting anything better. No, that's true. Our Arby's is, yeah. So what have we learned this week? We've learned the cats in the kettle at the Peking moon. Because that had to uh, happen there. Like, I, I think we've learned that the standards for Chinese food are so low in this country that, you, you know, you pay five dollars for it. You're not going to notice if what you're eating was killed on the road. Yeah. Two, Especially five minutes before you ate it. I've eaten Chinese in Kentucky. So that story that just right there just made me go. No. <laughs> it was, I mean, I was sad. That's a, that's a messed up story. Um, we've learned that if you are, in fact, going to impersonate a cop, flashing the gun, not exactly required to, you know, you're, you're, you're right of below. Course, of course I'm a cop. I have a gun. <laughs> You know what just popped into my head? What? Master of Disguise, trying to get into the Turtle Club. Turtle, turtle! I have not seen that movie. You're so oh. lucky! Although, based on your recommendation, I will. I will point and laugh at you for that. Mm -hmm. Um, We have learned that apparently 61-year-olds still get attention for the badonkadonk. Apparently. Well, Apparently, she didn't measure up. No, they, you know, I was nope. like, you know, teacher they, would be hot if she had a little more padding. Yeah, a little more uh, junk in the trunk. I don't know how you say it. <laughs> Badonka donk is, I believe, how the kids say it these days. No, they 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 moved on to something else. They moved on to something else. Uh, I have no idea what some other horrible phrase. Also, we've, yeah, someone in the channel, uh, who is it? Um, Divine All said, we learned that there is butt Viagra. <laughs> did you know that was a thing? I did not know that was a thing. No, I did not. I, I just, someone cultivated that. Someone w worked it together trying to figure out how to make that and sell that. And that was their dream. So does it add, what, fat, muscle, what? And it's only targeted at the butt? Yeah, I know. It does, how does it know? How does the pill know where to go? <laughs> um, we've learned, apparently, that you hate school kids. I don't talk about it. Yeah, we, yeah it's, you don't like the kids. No. No, kids are nice until they get into school. <laughs> and, you know, from then on, just fuck them. Yeah. Until they get out about 18, then you can talk to them again. No, no, no. You can talk to them like when they're not in school, but the second they enter that building, they turn into evil monsters. And apparently even after hours when they enter the building, they turn <laughs> into evil monsters. <laughs> right, yes. We've learned that unless... You have enough money to buy everything. It's a good chance you are not Batman. Don't go to the crime scene. Don't get on your police scanner. Don't hop down there and say, I'm here to help you. You are a jackass, sir. <laughs> you, sir, are an imbecile. There, there is, there is no way to, other way to say it. Not a bat, not a man, not a Batman. I like to believe that guy turned out to be Adam West. <laughs> and finally, we learned tonight that um, if you're not, if you're, if you're a sea mammal in Florida, if you're not careful, some fat woman will go and climb on top of you. 
Yep. That and manatees get treated better than Todd. Yes, they do. <laughs> you want the manatee? Yeah, you, you you want the you want the law for Todd. Yeah. Well, you know, you know can't harass molest manatees. You can harass molest you know random celebrities on the internet. <laughs> Who are you kidding, celebrity? <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. I'm lucky if my mailman knows who I am. Shit. My mailman definitely does not know who I am. Nor does anyone. I think some of my friends don't know who I am. The pizza guy knows who I am. 